In this video, I'll show you how to list installed packages on Ubuntu using the dpkg and apt commands. We'll also go over how to uninstall packages from the command line. To list installed packages on your system, type dpkg-l and press enter. This will display the installed packages in a formatted table with paging enabled. And you can use the up and down arrow keys to scroll through the list. There are also a couple of useful keyboard shortcuts. One is Shift plus G, which will take you to the end of the list. The other is pressing the G key twice quickly, which will take you to the beginning of the list. You can also search for keywords within the list. First, make sure you're at the beginning of the list by pressing the G key twice. Then, press the forward slash key, type the word you want to search for, and press enter. After searching, you can press the N key repeatedly to move to the next instance of your search term within the list. Once you're done, press Q or Ctrl plus C to exit the list. Personally, I don't like this formatted table. Instead, what I do is send the output to the grep command to filter packages by the keyword I want. There's another option within the dpkg command that also lists installed packages. That is minus minus get dash selections. This lists only package names without the extra details from dpkg minus L. We can also use the apt list command to check installed packages. The option for that is minus minus installed. Now I'll show you how to uninstall a package using the Ubuntu command line. Before uninstalling a package, use either the dpkg or apt command to find the exact name of the package you want to remove. In this example, I want to uninstall the Apache web server, so I'll use dpkg-l command with grep to find the package that provides the Apache web server. So in this case, the package name is Apache2. To completely remove it, we'll use the apt purge command followed by the package name. After removing the package, you should run the apt auto-remove command to uninstall any dependency packages that are no longer needed. After that, we can run the dpkg command again to make sure the Apache web server was uninstalled. And that's how you list and uninstall packages on Ubuntu. If you found this information useful, please give us a like and subscribe for more Linux tips and tutorials.